come to the feed, so let's get into to this tea. So apparently, um, Danny been scamming. Now, I've been hearing this from the beginning, and I ain't honestly paying no damn attention because everybody say somebody's scamming. I'm sure somebody out there right now saying I scam too, but uh, y'all been spamming it all day. Let's see what y'all talking about. Uh, do not, do not let this bullshit with Corey and Danny distract y'all from the topic at hand. Y'all remember earlier this year, I was telling y'all how she was stealing all them people tax returns. All them people was in my inbox talking about how she had all these make-believe ass people filing tax returns. And instead of them sending the money where it needed to go, she was dropping them bitches and burn her accounts. Keep that at the forefront of your mind. Don't let no motherfucking peach cobbler make y'all forget who the fuck we dealing with. And before you bitches come talking about you just wanna hate on the motherfucker, you just wanna hate on the motherfucker. Nah, I got real beef with the bitch. The bitch been in my city and still ain't tapped my line. You get what I'm saying? Earlier this year, she had a whole squad calling CPS on me because I decided to tell the world what the fuck she was doing. Bitch, you hitting old people. You hitting young people. You hitting single mothers out here who came to you, trusted you to file their motherfucking tax return, and then you out here talking about, I deal with motherfuckers calling me a scammer all day. If you can't deal with being called no scammer, then you don't need to be in this world. Wait a minute. This I didn't expect this. Now, what Danny was saying was, if she do your taxes, she get a fee. I agree with her on that, because you do. I mean, I tell y'all, I bought this shirt for $40. Y'all mad I'm charging you 65 I mean, nigga, I got to send the shirt. I got to go get the shirt printed. I'm wasting my gas. I already paid $40 for the shirt. What do you mean? Everybody deserved to get their cut. But this sound a little different. This sound a little different right here. And they're going to back door talking about you don't do this media shit, but you all out here cooped up and cuffed up with motherfucking Bernie Mac Jr. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Went on. I'ma just look, listen to me now. Listen to me. I understand the media <laughs> oh shit. She get her attention. You get your bag. But we're not gonna forget what the fuck you out here done did to these people. We're not gonna forget. And Corey, why we here? I'm gonna continuously encourage you to take everything you can from this bitch. No, she's talking about he ain't asked me for no money. He ain't asked me for no money. Not yet. Corey, keep doing what you're doing. Now I don't fuck with you. Nah, I agree with that. I agree with her hundred percent. When she hit me, when hit me, when she said, uh, let me put y'all, I'm putting y'all chat back on the screen. Don't show out. When she, when she hit me with the, uh, not me, but when she said, um, I don't like men that don't ask for money. First of all, Corey is the reason you got the number one store. Lady, that's number one. Now, although Corey deserved well, he deserved because he stole all of Carmen's money. Let's talk about that. I still feel as though you should have gave him something. I hope that trip y'all going on, you pay for all that. You got my nigga around here being a busser boy. Okay. I hit work in the store. The nigga out here tying your shoes. Mangoes coming through. Okay. Mango. Mango, I'm doing something serious. Mango, Mango, if I could just finish what I'm doing, because I'm doing it seriously. Mango, oh, he's, so crazy. he's crazy. He went on. I, I understand. Mango, can you get out? Get out. Oh. Get out. Thanks. I sure appreciate you, London. I forgot what the fuck I was saying, fucking children. So, I forgot. Let's, let's let me let her re remember what I was saying. Because of the shit that I heard that you did. To I remember. He out here. <laughs> he out here being a busser boy. He a driver boy. She using him for the meat because he got good meat for now, and all that other shit. Like, come on, Corey, you gotta do better than that. I mean, I don't know if the shit is true or not, and I digress in that area. 
But because I hate Danny's motherfucking ass oh. with a complete extreme passion, Damn, I'm begging you to take everything from that little motherfucker up until she can find it somewhere deep in that little thick ass chin of <laughs> to come fucking fight me. Because, bitch, I'm still on your motherfucking head. And I hope they burn down the motherfucking peach cobbler factory just like they burnt down your establishment in Memphis. Y'all, the only reason I ain't have my sounds because it was on my other computer. I got two. What? Oh, okay. Thank y'all. Oh, we got part two. Don't y'all worry about it. Hold on, that was part one. Okay, baby, I done lost it because I'm I'm lit now. Let's just. Uh, what was the title of this one? Big Bang oh, Danny. Okay, so we gonna go this one. Okay. Nothing to piss me off though, on the cool. Like, bitch, you out here living your motherfucking life and da 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 da. See, I can understand if you was getting to a bag and you had did that shit without stepping on the back to the motherfuckers who trusted you. Uh -huh. But bitch, you playing a real silly, stupid ass game. And that's why a rich bitch like me, a rich bitch like me got Oh, she rich too. Okay. Fuck around with security. Of course. Of fucking course. Oh, no, no, no. That's what Danny saying. Got it. Bitch. I don't give a good goddamn security or not, bitch. I see you. I'm diving on you. They gonna have to football tackle my motherfucking ass. They gonna have to football tackle me, ho. Cause you shouldn't have let you shouldn't have touched my kids. You should have left them alone. And you should have just handled the whole scam allegations the way that you needed to handle it. But ain't no fucking way. You sitting here lying to these motherfucking people talking about you got 32 offices open under your name. But a bitch can't find not now Ethan under your name. Chesty. Y'all be playing chess and not checkers. You understand what I'm saying? Now I understand Corey's position because fuck all that. I don't give a damn what you do. However, if Corey wasn't shoe shining and, and, and marble floor uh, sweeping and things like that, it'd be different. Right, let's listen to some more. Christine, morphine, morphodite, whatever the fuck you want to call God yourself. Damn. Stop fucking lying to these fucking people. Oh. All them EFIN numbers. You got people going around getting EFIN numbers and shit and giving them to you. And then you opening up tax establishments in these people's name and then got people. What? She out here selling CPM. Now I ain't against CPM. You know, every once in a while, you know, every time, yeah, somebody got to do it. Can't get an apartment. What you got to do? Yeah, can't you? What, what we going? <laughs> if you know, you know, okay? <laughs> working for you under their own shit when they should be running their own shit. Be fucking for real. Be fucking for real. Okay. If you got an EFIN number and you gave it to fucking Danny, either go and get your shit canceled or tell them folks a goddamn froster got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Give me one second, sus. Uh, uh. What is... Not wart. <laughs> what is a EFIN number? What is the electronic file identification number EFIN? Providers need an EFIN to electronically file tax return. We assign an EFIN to identify firms that have completed the IRS and EFIN application to become an authorized. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't necessarily. I didn't know what it was. Okay, we, we okay. Call me what the fuck you want, but I'm on this bitch head until I lay hands on you. Okay. Bitch, you been in my city, and, and you you ain't thought. You ain't thought to. What's shawty city? What's her city? Come on, bro. Now I'm going to remind you. Now I'm going to remind you. I want all the smoke with you and whomever. Because oh. right now it look like you got yeah. Bernie Mac Jr. as your bodyguard. Oh. And we all know how that goes. <laughs> we all know how that goes. Oh. Yeah, I'm quite sick of you motherfuckers. And then you sitting over there posting all these pictures. Everything around you blurred because you got 15 different fucking filters across your damn face. <laughs> girl, 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 girl. Then wrote... Y'all, i never forget last night I was right here in this... And she was working Corey Tufus. And we all know Corey got the big Tufus. Corey said you done had three different... <laughs> 
three different sizes of lips this past week. Now, what bothers me about that is she said that she had nothing on her face. Now, one thing about these right here, we black. We all, for the majority, I probably got 90% black people, black women, excuse me, not men. I have at least 96% women that are subscribed to me, and I love y'all. Let's talk, sis. You have had 30 shades of lips this week. <laughs> 30 shades of lips this week. And say she ain't done nothing to her face. Now, I considered the cheekbones real because, I mean, look at my cheekbone. If I, if I smile a little bit, this my smile. Stay up there. My cheekbones a little high. So I figured she had a little cheekbones. She lying. She fucking lying. This long ass dissertation. On dissertation, friend. Dissertation. Talking about you doing this, that, that, and the third. Bitch, I wouldn't give a damn if you had 18 pieces of bubble gum reaper fucking deucing. The, fa the, the reaper fucking deucing is crazy. The face fake, friend. You say Leah, baby, is a fake face. Yeah, I'm just face fake, friend. My, lap, my natural lips full as hell. Shout out to my mama. Come on, mama. I feel like I got... My fool, too. I got the little lips. Y'all, my lips little or big. I don't necessarily know. I tell you what, I'm not changing them. The lips I got is the lips I got. You understand me? <laughs> they just right for me. Honey sauce. I'm thinking you somebody. Else. I didn't understand. You don't cuss me out. I didn't know where we was going. Honey sauce, I love you. I didn't know where that message was necessarily going. My lips just right for you. I understand. I do a lot of work with these lips. You know what I'm saying? I like my lips. Bitch, I wouldn't lean towards you with a goddamn piece of paper talking about some damn, oh, I own the contracts. Contracts can't get canceled. Bitch, your name ain't on the fuck thing. But a rental agreement. That's it. And then you went and opened one of the nastiest establishments in the world. Talk about a dumb business move. Y'all, that shit ain't that good. However, the second establishment we went to was rather packed. I'm just trying to tell y'all that shit out of a 10. I gave it an 8. Damn it. I'm going to tell you what was, was a 10 out of 10. That, that peach juice. What is it? That strawberry peach juice? I, was, I think it's strawberry peach. What is it? Remind me. That shit good. Especially on some ice. I'm going to tell you right now. Some of them cheese. Uh, them uh, peach cobbler ain't cobbling. They ain't cobbling. They not necessarily. Huh? Peach like peach. I said, bitch, yeah, I'm on your that. head now. I gave your ass a few days of motherfucking social media fame, but quite naturally, I'm tired of seeing you on my timeline. I'm tired of seeing you, bitch. Unblock me. Unblock me so I can start tagging your ass again. You know, I was tagging you at first. You had to block me and then send everybody to call CPS. Call CPS. She doesn't need her kids. Call CPS. She doesn't need her kids. Ah, tight face ass. Come on, bro. Ah. Come on. You're going to need more than a plan B. Your ass going to need a plan C, D, E, F, G. Cause I'm finna eat your ass up. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. What's next? Oh shit. Your next clip. Hello. Here you go. Shout out to friend whoever sent them. I just wanna know. How is you cool? Is you cool? I'm about to go get these bitches put it on the shirt too. Oh, is you cool, bitch? Huh? Huh? Which one should I put on the front of your though? Choose one. They both the same bitch. Oh Lord have mercy. Okay. Filters the motherfucker. She need to cut that shit out. Damn, this seven minutes. But anyway, y'all want to figure out what's going on with the Danny situation? Yeah, cause Why we confused. Why is going so hard on her? Simple, my fucking kids. I'll argue with a bitch all day long, up and down, all across the social media world. But once you get to talking about my kids and bringing them into the situation that has nothing to do with them, I'm on your head and I'm on your head until I touch your ass. Anyways, earlier this year, after the whole Ashley Gretchen thing, and she was indicted and she was going to court, right? 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ashley Grayson. We spoke about her before. Ashley Grayson was the Facebook bitch. What did she have to do with the Ashley Grayson bitch? Ashley Grayson is the one that put a hit out on somebody, right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What does she have to do with Ashley Grayson? Ashley threat. Wait, 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 wait. She exposed Ashley? Not shouting who we watching these videos. Danny exposed Ashley? Danny exposed Ashley, yes or no? One in the chat of yes, two in the chat of no. All right. Sherelle, which is the girl, she exposed Ashley. All right. What did Ashley have to do with Danny? What did Ashley have to do with Danny, though? Nothing? Nothing? Two. Nothing. Put a two in the chat. Nothing. Two. Okay, I just need to keep watching. Okay. Yo, because I uh, my fault. I was over here fucked up. Okay, okay. My fault. Hey, y'all. Said, hey, I need you to expose somebody. I need you to expose somebody. All right, bet. Send them to me. I had a lot of eyes on my platform, so let me help the people that could be potential future victims to this person. So okay. people start inboxing me telling me like, oh, I found my taxes with her or her company. And instead of me getting my taxes, okay. the money was going somewhere else. I would call and try to check the status of it. It'll say sent, but I never had my money. I'm reaching out to her. I'm asking her for documents. I'm asking her for this, that, that, and the third. And she will respond to me in a very nasty way. If you got me on Facebook, then you've already seen the shit. All right, cool. Send me all your receipts. Let me read through these receipts and make sure the shit makes sense before I post it on my platform. And then I did just that. After posting on my platform, instead of this bitch doing what I feel like anybody who was going up against scam allegations or whatever would do, this bitch want to divert completely left, jump off the deep end, and talk about, oh, this bitch bald-headed. You got more things to worry about. Alopecia head having ass. Start posting me next to a goddamn spider monkey or whatever the fuck it is, whatever that fucking animal was she was posting me to. Then the bitch started talking about, oh, I got my mama. Y'all know I lost all three of my moms in one year, right? She's talking about... I got my mama. I can access my kids. I can do this, that, that, and the third. Damn, she three mamas in one year, though. Damn. She leaked my address. Now, you would think that the address part is the part that got me so hyped up. No, bitch, pull up to my motherfucking door. You're going to lay wherever the fuck you stay. Point period blank. So I wasn't worried about that. Now, when the bitch got on there talking about she called CPS and calling CPS. Hold on. When a bitch got on there talking about calling CPS is like calling the food stamp office and then proceeded to have all these different people calling CPS on me oh, CPS because like you mad office. that I'm posting this shit that you doing to other people? Oh, you thought you was going to keep that shit hidden forever. That's what triggered what it is that I'm doing now. I'm not the bully bitch. I'm the type of bitch that'll get on here and talk about myself before I talk about somebody else. Oh, and if God. I'm talking about somebody else, it's because you done did some foul, <sighs> fucked up ass shit. And now I got to bring this shit to light because you only going to go out there and you're going to find new victims. You're going to find new people that you feel like you can take advantage of. I've never in my life met somebody who runs a business and every, every year you need new customers. Every year you need new promotions. Now, granted, yes, you have to promote shit in order to stay in people's eye. You know what I'm saying? But it's empty, you honey. You're a bank person and you're making all 14, 15 million dollars a year in taxes, then you should have repeat customers. There ain't no fucking way you should be trying to reach a new audience as this shit goes on because you, tr you know what I'm saying? You done fucked over all the people that you done already worked with. So now you're trying to find new victims so that you can do them the same way. So, with that being said, I see y'all popping up on but now my timeline and shit with this Corey shit. And I sat back, I watched. Yeah, I made a couple of statuses and yeah, I said a couple of slick things, but I sat back and I watched because I was like, oh yeah, I want that bitch. I want her motherfucking head. I want that bitch to crumble between my motherfucking fingers type shit and I meant that. And what I said that was, oh, you having a grand opening. Your motherfucking grand opening only 22 minutes from a motherfucking house. So I'm going to pull up on that shit and I'm going to check your fucking temperature. I want to see what you own. All right, cool. You have your little grand opening. I know you was going to have your security guard. I'm, I'm smart. I'm intellectual. I'm very strategic in the shit that I do. So what did I do this morning? I got up. I went and printed the motherfucking flyers and shit. I went out there. I took pictures. I did my little interview. My little interview. You know what I'm saying? I said I was going to wait. I said I was going to wait. I left. I came back. 
I walked into your establishment. I signed my name on your motherfucking desk to let you know I've been there. I was trying to see about that. See, one thing about it, I let a whole bunch of shit slide. Hold on. She went when Shawty was out of town. I don't like that. She went when she was out of town. Everybody knows she's out of town because Corey done told everybody she's out of town. Oh. Cor uh, Corey is currently in Atlanta, Georgia. That's what he said. So, huh? I don't, I don't like that. She didn't necessarily pull up on Shawty with death. She didn't necessarily pull up on Shawty with death. Okay. But I done been through the ring. I done been through the circus. I done seen all the motherfucking tricks. But what you not going to do is put my kids in crossfire when it's two grown adults having a situation. Now, you out here claiming, oh, 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 I'm this business woman. Okay, for business woman. I do everything professional. I did that, that, and the third. A professional as business woman would have never went and downloaded some distorted ass voice thing, text my phone with a voice. She went live on Facebook when she was there, yes or no? You said, who, who said that? Y'all, excuse me, I'm a little lit. She found out while she was on live. Nick Sherelle went live on Facebook. So she went live on Facebook when she was there. Yes. Send me the link of her live. It's recording time or something. You better lay low. Y'all can't see my fault. You better lay low. As if you don't know who the fuck you talking to. I'm the real crash dummy. Behind mine, I'm going to crash into a brick wall and keep fucking going. And I've been calling your motherfucking hands all this fucking time. And your ass talking about pull up to the house. Bitch, I'm not stupid. Nah, pulling up to the house stupid. is crazy. I'm not going to. That I ain't doing. I'm definitely not doing that. I'm not going to give you a free body. No, you hell no. Nah. You, you know, you're trying to say, I got a body in Memphis. We know you didn't get a fucking body in Memphis, nigga. We know you didn't, but they got you. They told your ass a new asshole on your birthday. You and your team and then burnt all your shit down. But then there's allegations going around that you burnt your own shit down so that you can cash out on the money. But that's neither here nor there. I don't give a fuck. I ain't going to lie. She definitely gives. I'm going to burn my own shit down. I would do. <laughs> Nah, when niggas done tried. Bro, the shit that you run into when you do run business, it's, it's a little whack. It's kind of crazy. I've been running around my own city. Un I wouldn't do that. Looking for your ass. I done showed up to your establishment, walked in that bitch and got something for free. And you on the internet talking about, I'm about to go out of town for, I'm about to go out of the country for a few days. I need to celebrate being number one. And I've been up there and you only have four customers today. And two of them customers got something for free. Me and an Asian nigga. So what's T? Like, y'all motherfucking millionaires, y'all get on the internet, y'all be bumped. Uh, she been getting some customers. Y'all motherfucking gums, and it be regular bitches like me that be trying to check y'all temperature, call y'all motherfucking hands, and now y'all want to sit here and run and flee to another country? Bro, I promise, I'm going to have it on my mind every time. Say what you want to say, feel how you want to feel. If you feel like this shit is some clout shit, feel like this shit is some clout shit. I don't give a fuck, but I... Was it today, friend? She went live today. Was it today? Let me see. Go ahead. Promise, I could be in the middle of Walmart trying to feed. Oh, it was today. And they stand right next to you. Okay, bitch. okay. I can see you with a fucking bag. Thank you, uh, uh, friend. Bag of rice in your Holy. hand, and I'ma slide your ass from here to the turkey owl, right hand to the man. I don't got a shit thing to lie about. But if you as real as you claim, you letting the motherfuckers in your lab gas your ass up. Come see about it. Come see about it. You drop my address and they pull up. Ain't no fucking way I'ma drop a bitch address and I pull up. Don't pretend to live like that. And I'm not saying I live like that by far, but behind mine, I'm going to live like that, be like that, get like that. Point period blank. And you over there letting Corey hype you up. And keep it real. Keep it real. Corey, you like this shit. That's why you kept saying in that life. Of course. You going to go to the cobbler factory? factory? What they doing for each other is completely beneficial. If I was Corey, I would play my role. If I was her, I would play my role. And a lot of y'all would too. Stop playing. Everybody would. Especially if y'all seen the numbers behind this shit. My shit's stupid. I know his shit is ridiculous. So I would absolutely. Yeah, he want to see this shit. Because he know your ass ain't living like that. Corey got ulterior motives in this whole oh, situation. Terry. I'm talking about he ain't asking for the money. He ain't asking for the money. He ain't asking for the money. You keep talking about this nigga sending you $10,000 every five days to be with you. Show us. She lying. Show us. Now that she about. lying about. You show the shit that's. You, you, know you show that's been deposited. I'm going to shut my mouth about that. But at the end of the day, bitch, I want your head. I want it. Come see about it. Shit, do I got to pay you? I'll pay you to whoop your ass. Nah, hell no. Nah. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Like, y'all got to stop.
talk this shit. Y'all be feeling like y'all safe and shit behind y'all motherfucking money. And although you may be, bitch, I promise, Dallas ain't big enough to hold you. You better take your ass back to 10 buck two Mississippi because that's the only place you're going to be safe. I got it on my mind every time. Nails or no nails. I promise. And I know that was kind of pointless or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Mostly, go get your nails shaved down, Shred. No, I'm going to whoop your ass with these long nails. It's going to be recorded and the world going to see. Find you somebody to play with. I ain't going to lie. She might need to take that L, y'all. When it comes to these fucking kids. Because behind mine, the whole motherfucking world going to lay down. I promise you that. Big Danny, what's T? I think she need to take that L on that. I ain't going to lie. Because she going to get in some shit. He ain't even going to be able to take care of the kids. Because it sounds like she is very much so serious. Um... Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Uh, y'all just sound like she is dead ass serious. That's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.